Hi everybody and welcome to Guild Wars 2 Little and Large. My name's Coops. And I'm Nathrez. And today we will be talking about achievements. Achievements. Achievements, yes. Because the we are men. that we achieve. You read my mind. I know, we're, we're like, we're like just entwined people. Like we are on the same spirits. train track. <sighs> Nathrez, <laughs> will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. achievements <laughs> yeah swiftly moving on right yeah. right right press your magical h button for the for the magical for hero for the leader. hero yeah I'll see I'll see that's I'll see. me Woo. that is you and that's also me damn no, I look good I I still like the whole pink and green I've got going on yeah well okay well I'm going to put this to um to our viewers um Leave a comment below telling us who you like better. Oh. Who looks better, me or Nathrez? That not will me. solve the argument. And oh, if it's yeah. not Nathrez, we'll both kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, um, on the left-hand side, yes, you will see a list of various icons, and the bottom yes. one is the Arena Net's logo in a in a circle. And the broken over it, castle it says, thing. Yeah, it says achievements. Yeah. Achievements, yeah. yes. And I've now, got 259 points. Woo. And I've got 17k, nearly 18. Just, just whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just saying, just uh, throwing his heart to that, darling. Okay, okay so, so tell me about this panel that we are on. This panel that we are on. Well, if you look um, on the summary... You'll see yes. that um, it's got like the daily chest. My that daily you get. login thing. Yeah. Yes. You know, to say I've noticed you always yeah. log in and go, "Oh, I've got a chest." Yeah, I never really know why. <laughs> yeah. By the way, that's what you sound like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I've got rude. a chest. My name's Nightbird. Um. Anywho. Any moving on, um, yeah, they are your daily rewards. So it's okay. a login reward. You get rewarded yeah. simply for logging into Guild Wars each day. How nice! I'm surprised they don't make you level up before you can log in. No. <laughs> well, like they do with everything else. Well, everything has a leveling rank. <laughs> Segregation. That's what it is. Quick question. Anyway, yes, go on. Question of the day. Um, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what happens when I log in? Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, thirteen more times. Well, twelve more times. Twelve more times. You mean when you get to the end? When you get to the bag of experience. Bag of. You mean the chest of loyalty? Oh. Yeah. 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 When I you get to the chest. The <laughs> when you get the chest of loyalty, mm -hmm. it then starts all over again. So you go back to the bag of mystic coins on day well, one. Well, that's a bit of a downgrade, isn't it? Well, no, because then you go through it all over again and get all those rewards all over again. It should keep getting better after the chest of loyalty. Just give you the chest of winning. I don't what? know. There is just no pleasing some people. <laughs> Here, take free stuff. <laughs> I don't want you free stuff. It's not good enough. It's <laughs> a fair <laughs> argument. <laughs> I should um, stop being such a pompous bastard. Well, in fairness, you are a bit of a pompous bitch, aren't you? Really? <laughs> oh, oh, well, well. I don't, I don't want any more, any more bags of mystic coins. Oh, no. <laughs> I want you to throw achievement points at me and legendary weapons. Not that I'll open the bags after we've just found out from my salvaging. Yeah, yeah I dread to think. Um, yeah. Okay, so. so if you scroll a little, a little, a little, a little further down, yes, you'll see recently completed. Yes. Yeah, you got some in there, some nice ones in there. Yeah, I got eleven, one, and one. Eleven, on one, and points. one. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Any any clues as to what those achievements are? You know, you're gonna um, throw me a bone here. <laughs> Let me just. I've just closed it. One minute. Oh. Summary. Right. So, I have got Salvage Master. Yeah. Which gave me eleven. Yeah. Grawl Slayer. Yeah. Grawl. Yeah. And Shelk Slayer, which gave me one. Mm, lovely. And you mean Skelk, right? Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad that I knew that without even looking. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> what is my life? Oh, I need a life. I need to get out and see the sunshine. You know. Ah. Oh, Anywho, let's quickly anyway. move on before I uh, go cry suicide or something. <laughs> suicide is not a joke, people. It's not a joke. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so I've got a lot of nearly completed as well. Well, you should have about three nearly completed. Yeah, I've got. Yeah. Um, <laughs> funny that. I got Bandit Slayer, which is ninety-seven out of a hundred. Wow, we don't like those bum bandits. <laughs> <laughs> Irony. Um, active guild member. I got. I'm on four six six zero out of five thousand. Well, that disgusts and, me. And no one left behind. I am forty five out of fifty. So basically, what that's telling me is yeah. that um, you hate bomb bandits. <laughs> you're a shit guild member, <laughs> and you can't be asked to res people. <laughs> That is what those are telling is me. Is that that summary to you? That is the summary. Wow, I sound like the worst Guild Wars player ever. Well, what do you mean, sound like? <laughs> <laughs> I thought active Guild member was a quite high, like 5,000 nearly. 5,000 is a lot of anything. You know you've actually done nothing for that. Have I not? For oh. active Guild member, basically you have to gain influence for the Guild. So, yeah, so I that I gain influence, I'm assuming, by doing stuff. So oh. I've done quite a lot. I've got nearly 5,000, thank you. All right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you scroll down a bit further, yes. this is the exciting part. Um, oh. Do you have a thing that says unlocked rewards? Uh, no. 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 <laughs> right. It's because you've not unlocked. Have you got anything that says account bonuses? Uh no. Really? Whereabouts should I be looking? On the summary page, right at the very bottom. Um, unlocked rewards. Oh, I've got account bonuses. Yeah, I've got z plus zero percent gold fine, plus zero percent <laughs> karma, plus zero mm percent -hmm. XP gain. Yeah. Plus twenty four percent magic find, and then luck is fifty out of two hundred. That is pretty good going right there. Okay. Well, the unlocked rewards section. Um gives you weapons and skins and stuff uh, okay. based on your achievement chests. Now if you point your your little pointer up at the top you'll see a load of chests across the oh, top. Yeah. You hover over them it shows you what you get from those chests. I want the heavy achievement chest. The heavy achievement chest? Which one's that? Where's that? Where's the end one. Uh, mine says massive. Alright. Heavy, massive, same. Size. <laughs> <laughs> um, and basically, as you go through the game um, and get achievement points, you will unlock these chests, and eventually you will get the choice of unlocking certain skins, uh, weapon okay. skins and armor skins. Now, if you look at um, my shoulder things and my gloves, they are from achievement chests. Your flashy gloves? My flashy gloves and the, the shoulders. No, Michael Jackson ones. I like the gloves. Rude. So, <laughs> so, so I take it that's a lot to get. Um, like I can't chests, actually remember what uh, what amount you need to get them. You also get a helmet, which I don't oh, really? wear because it makes me look like a bit of a prune. <laughs> For saying I'm, I'm not. I'm well. I'm just over halfway to the first chest. You need to do a lot of stuff to get that two thousand five hundred one. Yeah. Quite yeah. a lot. Well, yes and no. For you, it's going to be so easy to get that many achievement points. It really is. How come? Because you've got so many achievements to do. Yeah, that's a fair so, point. So, you know, you're just going to... I mean, you've had achievements now. Um, yeah. I know, because in editing I've actually seen them pop up on your screen and you've mentioned nothing about them. Oh, um, okay. Hence this video. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you've been getting them without even trying. Oh, and that's good. This makes me all nostalgic. I'm, I'm thinking back to the days when I first started, and you kill something and get an achievement for it, and you're like, "Woohoo!" I don't yeah. know. I don't know what I just did, but I'll take it. <laughs> but I win. <laughs> um, I'm a wiener. And then you get to I'm a wiener. <laughs> Sorry. Um, then you get to my point in the game where you physically have to go out of your way to farm achievements and. Oh, it's it's such an effort. Ah. <laughs> Kind of like that. It's how it makes me feel on the inside. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to know how it makes me feel on the outside. 
Anywho, Stab it. Um, so I'm going to give you something to look forward to. Your main weapon is a great sword, isn't it? It is rather great. Right, okay. Yeah, I meant, I meant the skin. But, um, yeah, I think you, it is. If you look in the, um, in the chat now, you'll see yeah. a little uh, link to a uh, Zenith Avenger skin. Okay, let's just see if that pops up. If you right-click on it and select Preview... It'll bring up a preview and show you what that. Oh, looks like. that looks. Oh, I want that. <laughs> so on my screen, that is what the weapon looks like on its own. Isn't it a vision to behold? Lovely. So they are the sort of things that you will get from achievement chests as so you go are. along in the game. So it's well worth doing the achievements to get some fancy skins. Exactly, and the achievements are the only way. You can get those skins. There is no other way to get them. Oh really? Yeah. Sit down. I'm. Okay. <laughs> I'm teaching. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's move on to achievements, and I'll just give you a brief overview of how everything works. Okay. okay. Starting with daily. This is the thing you always go on about every day. Actually. <laughs> funny that. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Your daily achievements are basically achievements that you do each day. Okay. I mean, I don't really think I needed to explain that. There's but... loads on here. There's like one. There's like ten. And you only need to do three of those per day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Per day. Per and day. Do they do they swap or do you just yes. do something one day? They oh, do. Okay. They do swap and change out so every day. You'll get something different. Um, for example, today is uh, daily Ascalon Miner. Uh, tomorrow it may be uh, Crichton Miner or Crichton Lumberer or Azuran, sorry, Magoomin or Jungle or whatever, uh, Forager. So different things in different places. Different things, different places, different day. So yeah. you can pick and choose which ones you want. Now, I'm pretty certain that you'll be doing what I do when you get to that point. You'll be... Uh, you'll go onto it, you'll select the eyes for the ones that you want. I mean, you'll probably yep. go, you know where each day you log in and click on your chest and it brings yep. up that really annoying screen which shows you all of the achievements for PvE, PvP and Worldly World. Yep. Yeah. Well, you'll probably start going through those and clicking in the eyes of the ones you want to do. Um, and are there, do you always stick with the same ones? Like, do you tend to find you go for the same ones every time? Or I do. I always go for the uh, the harvesting one. Um, like today is daily Ascalon Miner. I always go for that one purely because I can go to my home instance where I have yeah. all of those nodes, as we discussed in a previous video. Uh, yeah. Go check that out, people. Um, I've got all of the nodes in there, so it's just I just go to the the relevant map. So Ascalon, yeah. I go to uh, the Black Citadel. Yeah. So I'd go there, I'd go into my home instance, and just mine all the stuff in there, and it's an instant daily completed. Boom, done. Boom, done, easy. <laughs> um, there was also today daily Crichton Vista Viewer. So I just go to um, the temple, not the temple, sorry, the the fort. Uh, which is quite near to Divinity's Reach, and you literally yeah. just go up a set like a, a little ramp, which are, I suppose is stairs, and there's a <laughs> there is a vista at the top there. So waypoint the within two seconds done. That's two of your three dailies done within a matter of minutes. Yeah, fair. So it's dead easy. The other the others that I do like to do are the PvP ones. PvP is fun. It is fun, and they're dead easy to get. Today's is a PvP reward earner, so basically just get a reward in PvP. Wow. And PvP player kills. So you need to kill three people in PvP, and you get that. There you go, then. So that's like, what? Yeah. Ten minutes to do those two PvE ones, and then jump over to I PvP, do one, one match, game. and yeah. <laughs> there you go, you've done your daily. Yeah. Log out, go to bed. Sweet. No, don't do that. Do not log out. Don't just come on to do your daily. Don't be a casual player. You need to be elite like us. <laughs> I have done... <laughs> I, I don't even know the age. I, I've never done a daily, to be fair. So that's not a good shout. Really? What? I, no, no, never done... Damn! 
How do, how do I find out the age of my character again? Forward slash age. That's... I've been playing for 22 days now. And you've never done a daily? Never done a daily. That's 22, achieve... 22 sets of achievement points I've given up. Yeah. You know, for completing your daily, you get 10 achievement points. So that's a fairly big boost when I've only got 259. That's, that's 220 achievement points you've so I could have done. So I could have doubled near enough. Yeah. Just by doing my daily. Just by doing your daily. Yeah, that's so, great for me. So, so here's my advice to you. Stop slacking off. <laughs> Stop being a waste of space. <laughs> you I'm sorry, but unworthy. You know, League of Legends calls my name and work calls my name and these things. Sorry, I heard up to um, something calls your name and then it just sounded a bit like blah, 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 <laughs> blah, blah. blah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> we'll skip so, story journal um, purely okay. because you haven't got to that point yet uh, oh, okay. where you've completed your personal story moving into the living world. And plus, um, because you weren't here when the living world was released, you actually have to pay with gems to unlock the living world. So how do I... Gems are the ones that I can buy with in-game gold, can't I? You can buy it with in-game gold if you like, or you can use... You can pull out Mr. Credit Card or Debit Mis Card. Mr. Debit Card. Mr. Debit Card, and, and he'll take care of it for you through PayPal or whatever. <laughs> nice. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you can do it that way if you want. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's the only way that you can unlock those. Right. So okay. It's inevitable that you will do that. I mean, it, it is a bit of a, a fuck you from Arena Net for <laughs> us. You know, we've released all this content now. Pay for it. Yeah, but, but then oh. they do add quite a lot to the game, and it's a one-off cost rather than a subscription. So, too shit. I'm not one. I'm not one of these people that's anti DLC when it adds to the game. No, I'm not anti DLC. I'm just a bit like, they release this content for free, and then after that they decide they're going to whack charge in it for new players. It's like, how would? Yeah, yeah. That's sweet. Well, I must admit, right, I want to get on with doing some of these achievements, you know. Mm. Because there is a lot here. There's a lot to be doing. There is a I've, hell of a lot to be doing. And I have missed my daily for 22 days. So you're going to get on that shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're going to so, sort yourself out. Stop <laughs> being a lazy waste of space. I do. I need to actually play the game, yeah. Do you want to fight? <laughs> <laughs> Offering me out. Sorry. I think the video, Sorry. I think the video is not going to like this. You're getting mm. all too aggressive as usual. Do you, know, you just... you, do you know how horrible he is to me? <laughs> oh! Yeah, I'm not horrible to you. <laughs> all I'm going to say is juggling ball and gonads. <laughs> Yes, so personal about it. Well, how can you not get personal when someone throws a juggling ball in your gonads? Well, you know, I'm really sorry for doing that. Yeah, you better be. Yeah, sorry. Let's move on. Go to general. <laughs> so. <laughs> Go to the general so, tab. The general. General. Oh, dry <laughs> top. I know yeah. dry top. You know dry top. You've been there. I am. <laughs> I wonder who took you When back. somebody got us lost. <laughs> okay, I openly admit it. I got you lost, okay? Oh, I play World Loads Guild Wars 2. I'm, I'm a pro. I'm level 8. Too. I get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Failed to mention that. Shh. I don't know. It wasn't filmed, therefore it didn't happen. You can't <laughs> prove anything. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know any. I've, you've, I've, you've mentioned dungeons before and fractals, but I don't know the silver waste or. You've been to Twilight. the silver waste. I took you there. You know where all those oh, really? cave spiders were, where you kept dying. They were like one. Oh, when we were with the guild and we were turn, I got turned into a spider. No, that was no. the guild missions. Oh, what is wrong with you? Oh, I'm such a new squad. <laughs> <sighs> We went to Dry Top, because I thought that's how you got to the Silver Way. You wait, yeah, 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 wait. And know, then afterwards yeah, no, I realised you don't get to the Silver Way through Dry Top, so I had to take you all the way back again. Yeah. Everyone yeah. tell him in the, it's in the comments just how newbie he is. Don't tell me how newbie I am. Please <laughs> don't. Oh, yeah, go on then, I'm up for a laugh. <laughs> tell me how much of a noob I am for, for not realising that you don't get to the Silver Way through Dry Top. <laughs> Whatever. So, 
You've done inside, worse. <laughs> inside Silver Waste, there is a lot of random achievements. There are a lot. Um, now, there is actually... Um, you can get most of these like in one fell swoop. Well, I'll say right. most. You can get a lot of these in one fell swoop. Basically, when you go to the Silver Waste, you've got to protect a certain area. Now, they're yeah. split up into different colours just for the morons of us out there. Doesn't really help the colour blind, but we won't go into that. <laughs> <laughs> Although still using black and white TVs. Um, <laughs> now, <laughs> um, there's the amber, the indigo, the blue, um, and the red areas. Right. Okay, you protect one of them for roughly about half an hour to an hour. Yes. Um, half an hour to an hour? Yeah. I can't say anything. Which... I play League of Legends for that time. So. Yeah, true. Right. Uh, <laughs> once you do that, the breach yeah. happens. So okay. you jump into this hole in the ground which just kind of appears and it looks a bit like a... You know that um, sand monster in Star Wars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It looks like that. Oh, nice. And you just you just jump into it casually. Oh, I wouldn't yeah. do that in Star Wars. But well, you know, no. Yeah, Wars. Yeah, apparently so. Um, and you find yourself in this sort of cavern area where there's a boss. So you kill the right. boss. Once you kill that boss, you get an achievement. Nice. But there's a different boss for every different area. Yeah. So you got to go around and kill all those bosses, but you can only kill one boss at a time, generally speaking. Sometimes you will actually kill your boss quick enough to then jump over to another place and get in there and help kill their boss. But oh, okay. it doesn't happen very often, so right. don't count on that. Um... Then you go to the world boss, which is like, uh, you've got three uh, separate areas that you need to stand in. So you, yeah. your entire map splits into the three uh, valley ways. Um, and you've got to protect siege weapon, which walks backwards and forwards. And periodically, one of the lanes will be let through into the centre bit where you fight a boss. Right, okay. There are three different bosses to kill. Yes. So, and you get an achievement for each of those bosses that you kill. A lot of so achievements you, going on. Yeah, a lot of achievements, but it means that you, you like, no matter what you do, you still get an achievement. Yeah, you yeah. Done it. After yeah. that, you've got, um, you go into the Hidden Depths, where, providing you beat the boss that you've just done, you get a key, and you can take that into the Hidden Depths, and you can open a chest, and then you yeah. get a Fear No Evil achievement. Right, okay. So achievements kind of lead into other achievements and you yeah, know, anything so you, can you do. Yeah, you can smash through quite a few. You can smash through quite a few in one go and then slowly but surely you get to my point where you're like, right, I need to get this specific achievement. So you wait yeah, around yeah. for it. Um, one thing you will find is the legendaries that randomly spawn at each of the um, different forts you've got to protect. Yeah. So there's one for each of the forts and they just randomly spawn. There's no timer on them. There's no telling when they're going to spawn. One can spawn, you can kill it, and then another could spawn. Yeah. It's that random. So, nice. And legendaries are harder than champions. Oh, nice. General, generally speaking. So yeah, yeah. Um, you've got to kill all of them um, to get all of the achievements. So, you know, there are quite a few achievements there which, you know, you need to lead on from other yeah. achievements and repeat the same thing over and over and over again. But then if you go to Dry Top, there are achievements like uh, the Legendary Llama Locator. Nice. Which, basically, all you have to do greatest is, name is find for the legend... An, greatest an name achievement. for an achievement, that is. Isn't it? <laughs> um, as, as it says, quite self-explanatory, find the Legendary Llama hidden at the abandoned mine in Prospect Valley. Now, providing you know where it actually is, you can just go straight there, interact with it, bang, done. Yeah. Simple as that. Dead simple. So, but you can spend a lot of time looking like for that. Llama. Well, yeah, but I know where it is, and so do all the walkthroughs on the internet. Dolphy.net, it's the way forward. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, you've done Fractal of the Mist. Well, we've spoken about Fractal of the Mist. You've not actually been in there yet, have you? No, this is the thing that you won't really want to touch on much because you find it horrifically boring. I do find it horrifically boring. <laughs> Have I really made it that obvious? I, I, yeah. <laughs> For yeah. saying we've not really covered this, yes. <laughs> mm. Is it? Is it the fact that whenever anyone goes fractals, I go, 
Ah! Oh, I'm gonna vomit. Yeah, that that kind of gives it away. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of gauge <laughs> that negatively from yeah. you. <laughs> I mean, I have done 276 fractals. Wow. In I the grand scheme won. of things, that is not a lot. Right. There are people who actually do fractals day in, day out, all day, every day. No, I bet you get PvP and Wild v Wild players like that as well. Um, yeah, you do. And I just think, how can you be so dull? <laughs> no offence if you are one of these people who does fractals over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Or you just come in and play PvP all day, every day. Or Wild v Wild all day, every day. I just think, ah... Why would you be so boring? <laughs> Please. Nice. Let's move on before I offend anyone else. We're losing some. Yeah, yeah. Here. Keep digging your hole. <laughs> so dungeons. <laughs> Let's move on to dungeons. Now they're quite fun. Um, for each dungeon, you get a story mode to begin with, and once you've completed your story mode, you can then go into exploration mode, which you've got three paths for each. One. Yeah. Okay. So path one, two, and three, obviously. Um, well named. Yes. And you have to go through and do the story mode, path one, two, and three, and then you'll get the achievement for mastering that dungeon. Right, okay. Yeah. So it can take a while. Some some paths can take, like, um, the Citadel of Flame, path one, that takes all of about 10, 15 minutes to complete. Right. Whereas some of them can take up to an hour to complete. Oh, okay. So there are yeah. harder and easier ones. And stuff yeah, like so it, it all varies. So, yeah. um, But we will be touching, I say touching, we will be annihilating Asylonian <laughs> catacombs very soon. Sweet. I have, I've got that on my to-do list. Nice. So it's actually, it's actually penned in. None of this pencil crap. It's <laughs> penned. Nice. Permanently Sorry. marked. <laughs> so we are definitely doing that soon. It's happening. So just embrace it, okay? <laughs> right. Sweet. Move on to Twilight Arbor, bitch. Um, <laughs> Twilight Arbor Aether Path was actually added during the Living Story um, season right. one, I do believe. I may be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Um, and don't forget to hashtag noobit. Um, <laughs> Now, it was added in, and it's one of the harder dungeons. Um, ArenaNet wanted to add in like new paths and new and exciting content for us because we were all just bored to tears of all the, right. uh, the dungeons, just doing them over and over again, and we wanted something new. So ArenaNet divides this wonderful, wonderful Aether Path, which was really quite difficult. I mean, not so much now that people have gone in, they've learnt the way it works and everything. Yeah. Um, but still, to this day, finding a party to actually go into the Aether Path with you is extremely difficult. Right, okay. I have I mean, I got all the achievements in this from one person who basically ran it once a day, every day. No, nice. so I I, I'm assuming he stopped now, then. I don't know. I know the, there's some skins within the Aether Path that you can get, some like unique skins. Um, and I know he was he was trying to get them, so... He oh, said okay. he ran it about like 200 times or something and got nice. one of the skins. Wow. Yeah. So it's like, ah, oh, all that <laughs> life you've wasted. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, moving on. Yeah. Um, Slayer. You've got Slayer. So a lot of these. Oh, I nearly have some of these. <laughs> really? Sorry. Yep. Okay. Which one have you nearly got? Uh, Bandit Slayer. I've got 97 out of 100. And 97. Yeah, and Devour Devourer, I've got yeah. nine out of ten. Okay, do me a favour, click yep. on one of them. I uh, click on Bandits there because I've got nearly done that one. Okay, and you see how it says tier number out of four. Oh yeah, tier two out of four. Yeah, hover over that for me. Okay. And you see. Oh, nice says... tier four <laughs> thousand. <000. laughs> So, yeah, come and speak to me when you've done that, that, yeah. You just ruined that. I thought I'd nearly done an achievement no. to the full, but no, no. you have ruined that. I, ju I just couldn't wait to piss on your parade. <laughs> Such a lovely person. <laughs> Move on. Hero, I've completed one of these. Which one? I've 
completed for the Legion. For the Legion. Yeah, that's yep. one of your story. Now this and is then... where you're going to have great fun. Because these achievements, there's um, some achievements for every single race. Oh, okay. So you have so, to play all the different races. Yeah, to com well, if you want to complete all of these achievements then yes, you have to play as every single race and do the achievements in the story mode. However, when I say you have to, you yeah. don't necessarily have to. Right, okay. Because like you're in my home instance now, you yeah. can actually join people in their missions. Yeah, so, you've done that with me before, yeah. Yeah, so in theory, you could enter someone else like another race's um, instance and complete yeah. that achievement through them. That's a good way around it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, personally I just prefer to do it myself because you just can't rely on anybody nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so yeah. Um, one of the more difficult ones. Yeah. Um, that's a fun one. Gain 5,000, no sorry, 500,000 experience without dying or changing maps. Oh, mine's, mine's 200,000 and I've yeah. done 35,438. But then you've changed map. Must have, yeah. Yeah, so that'll stop ticking over. So, yeah, wow. that's going to be that fun. That'll take a lot. Um, you know how you'd do that? How? Save up a load of tomes of knowledge and then stand in a place and just flick through them all. Oh yeah, that's true. Done. That's good. Good. So, See, look, you know all these tips and tricks, don't you? Well, you know what? I am full of shit. I mean, hints and tips. <laughs> <laughs> Move on to tradesmen. You're going to love okay. this. Again, <clears throat> I've done got quite a few of these. Like, weaponsmithing and armorsmith is obviously quite high and then... You've started. Yeah, I've, I've done quite a lot on this one. Yeah. Well, yeah. this is basically where you come for all of your different um, crafting. So, so yeah, all the stuff you make and things like that. Yeah. yeah. So each of these goes up to um, 400, and then you unlock the 400 to 500 tiers for each of the crafting professions. So oh, nice. you touched so on crafting. It yeah. takes a lot of time and a shed load of money. <laughs> and I mean a shed load of money. Nice. When when so we what? come to crafting your exotic gear, yeah. you will you will cry when you realise <laughs> how much money it no. costs to get a full set of exotic gear. Seriously. No. Not even joking. <laughs> so explore Move on. Again, explore I've done on. I've done jack jackaloping along. Jackaloping along. Yeah, which was get transformed into a jackalope by the script burglar. Like, fucking script again. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think we actually found that one by accident. Um, but hey, you got an achievement out of it, so you know yeah. everyone's happy. Um, so there's different explorer achievements like Maguma Explorer. Um, and you know I've how got, we did the I've Benny got, Hill I've, episode? Yeah, yeah. Basically, you've got to explore all the areas of all Maguma and everywhere in the ship. Is Maguma peaks. where Rattasun is? Yes. That's why and that the one's the highest. And where we are now. Ah, okay. So that's why that so, one's so high then. Yeah. So there's there's all sorts of stuff in here. Um, yeah. And I think this is where you find... No, you don't. The jumping puzzles have been split. Okay, cool. Move on to fashion. Um... I will remind me to introduce you to um, uh, cultural armor. That's the word I was looking for. Cultural armor. Cultural sounds, armor. Sounds nice. So basically, there are sets of armor specific to your race. Oh, okay. And the, yeah, they come in tier 1, 2, and 3. Now, yeah. to get the, a full set of tier 3 costs about 120 gold. Nice. Yeah, it's lovely. But um, some of the armors do look really nice, and obviously, since they added in the account wardrobe, which uh, thanks for adding that in after I'd bought all the cultural armor arena net, you 
SOBs. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, they'll unlock it permanently for you, so you can just go back anytime you like, and if you just fancy a change, you can just sling all that culture along. Oh, okay, now. that's quite good. I want to make so, the char armor now. Yeah, well, I'll take you to that at some point um, and okay. show you through all of that. So Let's move Eight. on to Weapon Master. Now, this one yep. is a ball ache, and as you can see, a lot of mine is still incomplete. Wow. I mean, my, my highest is, I mean, there's Master of Overkill, which is deliver 5,000 damage in a single blow. I've yeah. done 3,677. <laughs> and then I've nearly got the Great Sword, well, I say nearly, I've got the Great Sword Master, which is on deliver 500 kills using a Great Sword, and I'm on 238. Right, the max for that is 5,000. Oh, wow. I'm, a, I'm not even on 10% then. <laughs> Yeah, so for each weapon it is kill, well, deliver 5,000 killing blows. So that is actually kill an enemy with that weapon. So you can yeah. imagine when you start looking at things like shield and warhorn. Wow. To kill an enemy with a shield or a warhorn is like, you shut your mouth. You I didn't know you could kill with a shield, so. Exactly. So... It becomes rather difficult. Yes. So, hasten to add, I've just not even bothered with that. I've just gone, you know what? You can do one. <laughs> so, so um, moving on community. to community. Oh, I've got active guild member. He's on 4660 out of 5,000. And no one left behind is on 45 out of 50. Mm -hmm. So, okay. doing quite well there. Doing um, quite well, quite well. Thirst Slayer will take you absolutely ages you have to consume a hundred thousand drinks i didn't know you had to have a drink in this game you can drink in this game um okay. you will find dotted around everywhere um bottles of elixir or something um, right, okay. which you can just pick up and drink i do find um for everybody who hasn't spotted this little thing yet next time you find a bottle bottle of elixir pick it up and note which hand your hero is holding it in. Mm, why is that? Because they hold it in one hand, and then when you click drink, they drink it from the other hand. <laughs> is that meant to be there? No. I oh, don't think that, so. But does it that happen every single easy. time? Yeah. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's a bit of a fail there, ain't it? Nice. <laughs> Not going to lie. Um, the all-you-can-eat one is really simple. You just have to consume 800 items of food. You can I've actually... done none of the... Oh, I've consumed one drink, no food. <laughs> you can actually um, buy, like, 800 items of food from the trading post for, like, one copper each. And then just sit there and just double-click like a madman. <laughs> and All for presto. one... I mean, how many achievement points would you get for doing that? 36. Oh, so it's not that That's pretty many, good. It's all right, yeah. It's pretty good. Fairly average, um, yeah. I'm not sure whether you'll have this one. Hall of Monuments. Uh, yeah, I can see it. I've done... Nothing. Fuck all of it, but... Do you know why it. you've done nothing? Because I've not been to the Hall of Monuments. Um, I mean, you can go to the Hall of Monuments, but that won't make the slightest difference. Oh. Do you know Why? Why? Because these achievements are carried over from Guild Wars 1. Ah, well, no, yes. I definitely, definitely. <laughs> and, um, so you could take, you could transfer your achievements, but you couldn't transfer your champion? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Wow, okay. Well, to be Good fair, backwards. Guild Wars 1, you could only have humans. You could only play as a human race. Oh, I was, sorry, I was expecting a list then. No, wow. that's it, just humans. And oh. also, Guild Wars 1... If we're looking on time scale, um, yeah. Guild Wars 1 happened 250 years ago. Right. Or but thereabouts. You but, but you couldn't play anyone but human. Yeah. Basically. Well, Guild Wars 2 was a big update then. Yes. Very big. <laughs> and you can obviously understand that people were like, Oh my god, I can play as an Azuran! You know? <laughs> Hence why I'm an Azuran. I was very excited by the prospect. Because yes. the moment I met Vec in Guild Wars 1, I fell in love. It's a little bit creepy, I know, but I fell yeah, in love with that. So, so, yeah. Oh, my right, favourites so. now. Yeah. Jumping puzzles. Now, one of them you should have completed. Yeah, King Jolly's yes. Refuge. 
that's the one we did on the on the, the other on day previous video. Did. On a previous video, check that out. <laughs> so so yeah, I've done that. Which and then you've got all the rest points. to do. Oh my word, there is shit tons of jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot, and guess what? What? Pokemon, I've done them all. Yeah, do you like my little uh, improv there? Yeah, delightful. <laughs> you and your musicals. Hey, easy now. That was Pokemon, that's not a musical. <laughs> <laughs> so, bosses. Again, bosses. Again. I've done one of these, which is cleanup crew. That's strange. Because uh, I'm sure we've killed another one, but maybe not. I no, I've, I've not got any others on here. Oh well. Okay. I thought we had just, you know, in passing. We might have passed a place. I thought we'd done Svenia's Bane. Svenia's Bane. I think that was the time when we went there, but it was the troll event. I think oh, we were okay. waiting for it, but it never actually happened. Oh, um, okay. There's like, there's the same like chain of events that lead up to Svanir spawning, but yeah. he doesn't actually spawn at the end of it. So oh, okay. We, I call that the troll event. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it troll right. lulls you. Uh, Triple Trouble and Tequattle, they are other world bosses. Again, I've their not own... done any of them. No, you won't have done. They've got their own set of achievements because they are that badass. Nice. Tequattle originally was just one of the bosses, um, mm -hmm. and you literally just stood in front of him, yeah, and left auto attack running, and he died. Oh, really? It was that easy? Yeah, it was that easy. But then ArenaNet remastered him, and now he's awesome. Let's just say when they remastered him and released it, yeah, um, the Ring of Fire server that I was on, yeah. Uh, took about, what, possibly months to finally beat him. Really? Yeah. So it was a hell of a reskin then. It was, it was so different. And yeah. people didn't know what to do. They didn't know the tactics on how to kill it. Most yeah. of them just guested to another server. This is in the days before the mega server. Right, so they okay. would just go and guest on the Desolation server. Yeah. So, yeah. That was fun. So the That's Ring of Fire just never actually managed to do it. Um, yeah, yeah. I think they did manage to do it eventually, um, but it wasn't always so successful. So everyone just carried on guesting to Desolations, and then ArenaNet brought out the Mega Server. Thanks for fucking up my life, ArenaNet. <laughs> um, <laughs> sounds sounds like a person where you really hate ArenaNet. Um, I just disagree with some of the choices they make. Some right. the mega server's an, an iffy one for me. Because in some ways it made my life easier, in other ways it really messed everything up. Um You should write a strongly worded worded letter, like a proper Yeah, I person. did that on the forums and uh it wasn't received very well. Oh. So yeah, I tend to just keep my mouth shut now and, and you know, go to bed grouchy and grumbling and you know, you, you're just here and <laughs> Bastards, man. Yeah, basically. So, so what's yeah. in competitive then, away from general? Oh, this um, is like World v World and World PvP. World v World, PvP, all the stuff there, and then you've got um, activities like Sanctum Sprint, Crab Toss, Keg Brawl, South Sun Survival, and Belcher's Bluff. Well, I've done a couple in Edge of the Mist, none in World v World, and Slayer in PvP. I've got 34 out of 40. Sweet. Mm. Yeah. So, so, yeah. That's just more World v. World in PvP in there. I'm not Playing even going to touch on though. those because you don't actively have to try and get those, really. Yeah, you they just, just try play and, and they. Playing. Yeah, exactly. You do everything in there anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, sure. like, um, Sanctum Sprint is actually an activity. And remind me, that's something that we do need to do a video on. Okay. So, we need to do Sanctum Sprint, Sanctum Crab Sprint. Toss, Keg Brawl. And South Sun Survival. Watch Belch. What's that? Uh, fix it then. What's Belch's Bluff? <laughs> Belch's Bluff is. Um, it's basically, you know, those um, items that people drop around the world and you can interact with them and. Yeah, yeah, you know, those boxes and shit. Yeah, it's like one yeah. of them. Yeah. But um, you have a game of Belch's Bluff instead. Rather than oh, okay. just like running around absolutely huge or changing colours or turning to stone. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Belch's Bluff is basically 
um, a drinking game. Nice. So you've got like a set amount of skills, and you you either drink uh, fake or drink some water. Water heals you. Fake obviously does nothing. Yeah. Um, and drinking lowers your health, and you've right, got to okay. be the last man standing, basically. Right. Fair enough. So. Sounds quite fun. Yeah, it is quite fun, but you get all the achievements really, really quickly, so... Yeah. Yeah, that one's dead easy to complete. Collections, basic and rare. Um, I collections, got, yes. I've got a basic, I've got Winter's Day Toy Weapons Collection. Yeah, well, I, I helped you get that one. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, from the guild chest, we've literally got the entire collection there, so you just take out what you need, and yeah. then that's it, done. So that's Sweet. that's good. Um... Then there's lots of other collections. One that you will actually be getting is Trash Collector. You might have a bit more yeah, on that. Yeah, got 21 out of 25 on that. Okay, well there's 51 altogether. Mm -hmm. um, now when these were actually released, I was I was clawing at the game. Going, please give me something to do! <laughs> so when these collections came out, I farmed the crap out of them. Nice, so you got them. Because it was just there. something to do. So, um, I've actually completed a fair few of them. Um, there are still some that I haven't completed. Um, and the ones I will touch on at a later date, not going to yes. touch on them now, um, but remind me when we do the dungeons that we need to talk about the dungeon collections. Dungeon collections, okay. Yoth. So. Basically, as you go around, you can collect various different things. Yeah, yeah. You'll probably need a walkthrough for a lot of them because um, they don't just drop. You yeah, know, you have sure. to You have to know where they are. So there's basic yeah. collections, there's rare collections, and then there's Black Mayan rare, funnily collections. Funnily yeah, it doesn't surprise me. I can only see basic and rare. Okay. Black Lion collections will appear once you've um, actually got a Black Lion weapon. Right, okay. So, and Black Lion weapons come from the, um, you get an NPC, but you need to collect scraps which come in Black Lion chests. Oh, I've got a couple of them. I just need the keys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, to get the keys, you can either buy them off the trading post or wait forever in a day for one to drop or do story. So, right, okay. That's it. And then you've got historical. Have you got historical? I've got one, which is retired achievements, and then that's hint completion, which is yeah. completed. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, I've got all of them throughout history. so <laughs> Nice. Um, this is how much, and I, I hate to do this to you, but this is how much you've missed. Secret of South Sun, Flame and Frost, Seasonal Activities, Bazaar of the Four Winds, Support Ellen Keel, Support Evan Nashblade, World vs. World Season 1. World vs. World Spring Tournament 2014 World vs. World Fall Tournament 2014 Tower of Nightmares The Nightmare Within Fractured Emissary Vorps Field uh, Assistant um, The Battle for Lion's Arch The Nightmare is Over Queen Jenna's Jubilee Festival of the Four Winds Escape from Lion's Arch uh, Where have we gone? Uh, the Origins of Madness Twilight Assault, The Queen's Gauntlet, Edge of the Mists, Dragon Bash, Sky Pirates, Clockwork Chaos, Shadow of the Mad King, Blood and Madness, Blood and Madness, Retired Achievements, uh, The Wondrous Workshop of, um, A Very Merry Winter's Day, Another Very Merry Winter's Day, Super Adventure Box, Back to School, Super Adventure Box, and Boss Week. Not many then. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> and that is it. That is an overview of achievements. So, what we are going to be doing pretty much from now on... Yeah. Um, ...is we will be doing videos based on what achievements you want to get. Okay. And Sounds we will sweet. just go and get those achievements, providing we can fit them actually into a video. Yes, yeah. that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I've still got a few... Uh, a few topics lined up, but then after those topics, you should be quite high level, high enough yeah. to then constitute going and doing all these various achievements. Sweet. So you pick one, we'll go and do it. Okay then. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Right. So, 
Thank you everybody for sitting and bearing with us as we went through all of these achievement crap stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you will be hearing a lot more from achievements, um, not in the extent that we've gone through for today. No, um, but certainly but as we start to do more videos. As we do videos, whenever Nathrez does an achievement, he'll, you know, do the whole, Woo! Achievement! <laughs> And getting very excited about it, unlike what yeah. he has been doing recently, and that's completely <laughs> ignoring them. So, <laughs> yeah. so he will have that excitement level from now on. Sweet. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Anywho, thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. We've given you plenty to comment about today. Yeah. So, <laughs> comment below. And we will see you next time on Guild Wars 2 Little and Large. Ta-ta! Cheers!